Hello, this short video is to demonstrate how to download the Resound app onto your mobile phone or your tablet. It's important to note that if you're using an iPhone, it has to be the iPhone 5 or newer or the iPad 2 or newer. And we do that by downloading from the App Store you can see on the screen. If we're using Android devices, you will need to use the Play Store, but you will need to refer to your provider as to the type and the make and the age of your phone as if it's compatible. The first thing we need to do is switch the hearing aids on by closing the battery door or indeed taking the hearing aids out of the charger if you're using rechargeable hearing aids. We click on the App Store button and we type in Resound. And we'll see the Resound 3D app, which is the one we're using today. Now if I, to save time, I've already downloaded it. So I'm just now going to open it. You will need to click on download if you haven't previously done that. So we hit on open. It's important to note we have about a 12 second pairing window. So we don't have long. If you run out of time, just do it again. We click on get started. Lots of terms and conditions here, by all means read them. There's nothing contractual in there, but you will need to scroll down to the bottom and hit agree at the bottom there. It's asking us to connect to the Bluetooth, which we've already got switched on. Hit OK. It's now finding the hearing aids, as you can see. It now asks us to restart them, so we do the same process of opening the battery doors and closing them, or indeed just putting them in the charger and taking them out again. As you can see, it's now pairing them, and that's complete. So now we connect, we're connected, so we click on the continue button at the bottom, It will allow us, ask us to allow for notifications. I would suggest we do this for any updates that are available and also only whilst using the app. So we click on that as well. Now what we've got here is our general screen that it will default to. You'll see a knife and fork at the top of the screen. I have for demonstration purposes added a restaurant program. To get onto that program, you simply swipe across and it will give you the restaurant program, which will help in restaurant situations, background noise, noisy environments, etc. But our default setting is the all around. You'll notice we've got a noise filter button. If we click on that, it will turn red. It will reduce background noise, unwanted noise in noisy situations. To remove it, we simply click it again. Speech clarity enhances speech and directionality, again useful in noisy environments. Again to remove it, simply click on it. We've got a volume control here that we're able to alter the volume in addition to the buttons that are on the back of your hearing aids if they are set. We can also split the hearing aids here so we can turn the right or left up or down independently but we advise to keep them together. We've also got a sound enhancer here so you're able to set the level of the hearing aid to your own situations. So if you're in a difficult meeting, you can preset them. You can add it as a favorite, type in what you want, what the meeting is. So when you go back to there the following week or the month, it's already saved into your phone. We can reset it. So we're back to normal. Close that down at the top and we go back to our everyday app screen. This will download every time you switch the hearing aids on so you don't have to pair it every time. I hope you found this useful. Thank you.